shock. That's what we're going to be going over today. So I'm going to go over shock. Before we go over shock, though, you have to understand what perfusion is, all right? So understanding perfusion. So what perfusion is, what that means is that oxygen is getting to the tissues of the body. Not only that, but oxygen is getting to the tissues of the body in a timely fashion, okay? So we have O2 and we have the tissue. This represents your tissue. This entire square represents the tissues of your body. So the reason this matters is that by now you should know that O2 is carried in the red blood cells. The hemoglobin precisely, right? The little hemoglobin inside the red blood cell. Well, oxygen is transported via the, the blood to the tissues of the body. And it meets glucose. And they make babies together, right? In the cells. Those babies are called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Now, adenosine triphosphate, what that is, that is life. That's energy. It keeps you going. It keeps life going. So really think about it like this. If you know anything about business or the way economics goes, oxygen is money. Your body is the business world. Without oxygen, the business world is not going to go. So oxygen is a money maker of your body. It keeps the body going, right? It keeps the economy going. It's like money. That's exactly what it is. No, so perfusion, we know now that perfusion is oxygen getting to where it needs to go in a timely fashion. Or you're just getting there, period, but it has to get there in a timely fashion to meet glucose to make adenosine triphosphate, which is life. Keeps you going. Now, now that I've got perfusion now, let's go to understanding hypoperfusion. Hypoperfusion means that this right here is either not happening or it's not happening in a timely fashion, right? Because if I don't have O2 going to where it needs to go, I can't make ATP. I can't make adenosine triphosphate. Therefore, I die. I can't make energy. Or if I don't have it getting there on a, in a timely fashion, like getting there on time, on time, on time, getting to the bank to make you no know, more jobs, keep the economy, the economy going, keep your body going, then your body will wear off eventually it will die down it will crash it's like the the collapse the financial collapse of the 2008 let's think about it like that right because it wasn't getting there in a timely fashion or uh o2 is not getting there or not enough o2 not it's not getting there in a timely fashion fast enough or there is no o2 getting there at all because you're already dead something's made you stop breathing something made you um stop circulating blood because maybe you had a heart attack stuff like that okay so perfusion review it is oxygen getting to where it needs to go, getting to the tissue in a timely fashion to meet glucose to make ATP. Hypoperfusion is this either not happening or not happening fast enough because then you can't make ATP and now you're going to die because you can't make energy. So that's shock, right? Now that we have that down, Let's go into something else. Let's go into the stages of shock. So, what are the stages of shock? Sorry, I'm bumping into stuff. Here. Not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm kind of just winging this. So, stages of shock. We have what's called compensated shock. Decompensated shock. And then we have what's called irreversible shock. Now, I know this might not be spelled right, but it's not a big deal. It's not an English class, right? So just deal with it. You're going to get the point across. That's what matters. Now, you have this thing called sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system, what that does is that it increases everything. It increases respiration rate, right? To get some more oxygen in your body. It increases your heart rate. Your bomb, bomb, bomb. Your heart's going to contract faster. And this helps out to get blood to where it needs to go because blood carries what? Go ahead. Give me a guess. What does it carry? O2, right? It carries O2. So it's going to pump your blood faster to get that O2 to where it needs to go. 
it's gonna get, it's gonna increase your respirations to get more O2 in your body, right? So if for some reason O2 is not getting to where it needs to go in a timely fashion, your body will compensate with that, will compensate for that by increasing your heart rate. Your vessels will constrict due to sympathetic nervous system, and your respiration will increase. So the first stage of compensated shock, you may see your patient is you're gonna have you're gonna have an increase of everything in compensated shock, all right? Because whatever's happening, your body will compensate because of the sympathetic nervous system. All right? So this is when you see that cool clammy and diaphoretic skin. So when you are in compensated shock, your peripherals, that means that when whatever's far away, the capillaries, um, the vessels that are far away in your non-vital organs, like your skin, your, your bones, it will constrict. At the same time, the vessels that are in your brain your heart and your lungs will dilate open, right? So to feed them, because what what does your body need right now to stay alive? I need my brain, I need my two lungs, and I need my heart. Everything else, I don't care about right now. So that's what your body's thinking, all right? With sympathetic nervous system. All right, so that's when you see cool, clamming down for the skin. That's the beginning stages of shock. It's composite shock. After a while, just like when you go to the gym and you work out, your body's gonna wear out, right? It can only do that for so long. So then that's when you see decompensated shock. Everything starts to go down. This is where you start to get that, you know, LOC, level of consciousness starts to go down also, right? Because your body can't make up for that no more. Whatever's going on, it's just, it's worn out. It's tired. And then we have irreversible shock. This means that you're dead. Cancel Christmas. It's not gonna happen this year. That's what it means pretty much for your patients. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. I just made a short video real quick about um, you know, understanding perfusion for shock, hypoperfusion, which is shock pretty much, and then the different categories of shock stages. The next video, we'll, we'll talk about hypovolemic shock, cardiogenic shock, and systemic shock, like neurogenic shock, uh, those, those types of things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys on the next video. Bye.